Hey what's up, it's Chris from Rooker Films and in today's video I'm going to show you how to do the sky transition. So let's get into it. Like the title implies, the sky transition uses the sky to transition from one shot to another. But how is it achieved? You need to make sure that you have a clear sky. This effect just isn't going to work if you've got a really cloudy, overcast, patchy sky. You need it to be a block colour. So fortunately today the sky is clear blue. So now that you're shooting on the correct day in the perfect conditions, you need to do this effect. So when you're filming, you need to make sure that at the end of your first shot you pan up towards the sky. Now when you shoot your second shot, you want to start on the sky and transition down into the shot. Now when you put these two in the edit, it's going to look like you've seamlessly transitioned into another shot by using the sky. Once you've captured both of those shots, you need to get this onto your video editor of choice and we need to get this edited up to make it look amazing. So let's do that. So once we've loaded up our video editor, we just need to import the footage so we can start to complete the transition effect. So we're going to do so by going over to the import media to start tab and we're just going to create a new bin. So press this bin icon here and then we're just gonna rename this to footage. Go inside that bin, double click and press import. Now we just need to import our video footage here so we're just going to navigate through the finder and find the names of our footage. So from here we just need to create a brand new sequence so I'm just going to select both of these. I'm going to double click on one of them and press new sequence from clip. And that's just going to load them both into a sequence. And before we do anything I'm just going to delete the audio from these two video layers because we don't need that in this example. Perfect, so as we can see this is the footage starting on the sky and revealing down, so we're going to put that second. That means this footage here should be starting, there we go, and then panning up to the sky. So to do this effect all that we need to do is just crop the end of the first video clip. So we're just going to find the point where it goes up to the sky, so around here, and we're just going to cut that by pressing C, and that's going to bring up the razor tool. And then from there you can just cut and then delete this video clip here. Now we're going to do the same thing for the second clip, but instead of doing it for the end, we're going to do it for the beginning of the clip. So we're going to go across to the point where the movement starts roughly, that's around there. We're going to load the razor tool by pressing C, deleting that first video clip. And now we just want to drag these two clips together to the very beginning. Now if we watch that back, you'll notice there is a cut there. You can see the sun flare jump all of a sudden from here, all the way over to here. So it's a bit obvious. So to smooth this out, we just need to add a crossfade. So we're going to go into our effects tab. We're going to go over to video transitions, into dissolve, and then we're going to drag this cross dissolve over onto the transition between these two clips. Make sure that it's not on the first layer and make sure that it's not on the second layer. Make sure that it's on both of these video clips here. And once that's in position, you just want to drop that. Now, if you watch that back, that's going to be much smoother. And that's absolutely perfect, that's how you do the sky transition. Now the sky transition is a super easy way to transition from one shot to another and it can look really creative and really artistic when done correctly. So feel free to use this in your project as much as you so desire. If you enjoyed watching this video then please do let me know in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe if you would like to see more videos like this one in the future. Thank you ever so much for watching, I really do truly appreciate it. I hope you're having the most amazing day today, I will see you next time, thank you for watching.